Hello, Entropians. It's me, Mikhail. And guess where I am today? Well, I've been here a couple days. As a matter of fact, I may never leave, because I'm on Next Island, and more specifically, I am in Ancient Greece. Why are you in Ancient Greece, Mikhail? You might ask me, and I might answer. <laughs> um, I'm after some big, fat clubs. <laughs> I'm hunting Cyclops, hoping to get some Cyclops clubs because I have a blueprint for a Sword of Fortitude that I would like to craft, not only for myself, but maybe for you as well, if you care to buy one out of one of my shops. So that's what I'm doing, and I am near Mount Olympus Base Camp in Ancient Greece. If you don't know how to get to Ancient Greece, there's YouTube videos. I don't think I'm going to go through the rigmarole of getting us to Ancient Greece, especially since I'm already here. Now, the reason I decided to start recording is, one, I actually have some time, <laughs> and two, well, I've been getting a lot of anatomies, and if, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that when I get a lot of anatomies with a hodgepodge of other skills, then I start looking for the loot in the mob. So I'm hoping that I'm going to run into a hot spot here and it is getting to that time of night when I my loot tends to pick up when I'm hunting. So there's the time. It's 1.51 MA time and I am hunting a at like a level 20 to 11, level 25, the Brontus Cyclops. And I threw on what disco I had, and I'm supplementing the missing disco pieces with my gremlin with 5Bs so that they aren't hitting me quite as hard as they were when I was just wearing gremlin. And I'm going to maybe go, maybe like first person, so you can see just how big and strong they are and ugly. They're one eye is so ugly. I mean, when I was watching Jason and the Argonauts, the Cyclops, I think, were better looking. If if a Cyclops can be good looking. <laughs> the new Jason and the Argonauts. Well, actually, even the old one with, um, oh gosh, what was his name? Oh, I'll think of it in the shower. He had long hair. He was a 70s heartthrob. Hmm. Harry? No. What was his name? Oh gosh, I might have to Google it. But anyway, they made one of those like Jason and the Golden Fleece movies back in the 70s, and then Hercules, and that was in the early 80s, like 1982. Anyway, I'm a fan. Let's just put it that way. I like Greek and Roman mythology. So, yes, I like ancient Greece. I... I liked it better, I hate to say this, but I liked it better when you couldn't just wear armor and bring guns. But that being said, it's a heck of a lot easier to kill stuff here if you're wearing armor and you can bring guns. <laughs> because otherwise it was a slow, miserable team hunt existence to come to ancient Greece and actually hunt successfully, at least for me. And that also was a long time ago. Back when I really didn't have a lot of skill. And the society I belonged to at the time said, Hey, let's go hunt in ancient Greece. Everybody grab a sword while well, we all grab the falxes because we were all noobs. And then someone took all the loot. But anyway, um... No, actually, that was one of the few times I chipped in because I invested in a Philosopher's Sword and I wanted the skill to use it, so I actually splurged and bought some some skills for Sword, for melee. One of the few times I've done it. So other than that, how's it going? How are things with you? I thought it was interesting. The last video I posted... I got a couple of lectures on being eco, which is good, because I'm really not the smartest player in this game. Nowhere near. I real I hate keeping spreadsheets. I don't like keeping track of stuff. Really, this is a horrible game to play for someone like me. 
the I think the only reason that I've done okay is because I have an idea in my head of where I'm at and occasionally I'll look at my bottom line and go yep my pet is gaining even though I haven't deposited I must be doing okay <laughs> that's how I keep track I know isn't it sad and at once upon a time I went out found spreadsheets that other players had set up that you can input what armor you're wearing and what gun you're using and what amp is on the gun and what sight is on the gun and I mean everything what underwear you're wearing and then you know the before and after amounts and it would calculate your decay and your rate of return and they were really fantastic a lot of work put into them but honestly not for this girl. I'm a little too lazy to do anything like that. Sad thing is, in real life, I'm a computer programmer. So if I really wanted to, I could make myself a program to track my gameplay. <laughs> but I'm too lazy to do that. You want to know why? Because I'm a computer programmer. Yeah. This is my escape. This is not my job. <laughs> so... I just prefer to blow the money I used to blow at the bar, believe it or not. And occasionally I still go to the bar, but not nearly as much as I used to. Now I blow my money on Entropia, and when I'm not spending my money on Entropia, I'm spending my money on my horses. And I don't even do anything fancy with my horses. I just ride them around my yard. So... Now that I've babbled enough for everyone, I was really looking forward to getting some good loot for you. And I haven't gotten any anatomies since I started recording. I think Mind Dark knows. But of course, the last time I said something like that out loud, I think they heard me and then they gave me a global. <laughs> so maybe they're spying. Spying on me. Isn't this beautiful here? Even though I play on medium graphics and the textures seem a little generic. But overall I like this landscape with the blue skies and the green grass and the, what are those, cedar trees. It's all very scenic. And I like how they're wearing the little loincloth with the little skeleton. Here, I'm going to go from this angle so you can see the skeleton. Oh, come on, quit running so I can go up. Oh, I should probably heal myself. Hold on. I am I am going to take the advice of another player. And I am going to do the, like, the mushroom missions on Calypso so that I can um, get an adjusted... 2600 or a modified 2600 whatever where I can trade it in see the little skeleton head right there the little bad juju token on his loincloth belt <laughs> uh, sometimes it's funny the things they spend the time on for graphics but um yeah it's either it's either I I trade in because I don't want to tear it up. It I I to let to tear it to level four, which is I think where I'm at on my twenty six hundred. And my goal was never like I was never like oh I'm gonna tear it. That's what I want to do with my life. I mean it just kind of worked out that way. But um, okay let me look. Oh I could open it to level three. That's what it is. It's at no this is oh yeah this is I was talking about something else. Anyway. Oh god, now I'm all confused. And I'm confusing you. My mining tool is ready to be tiered. And that will cost me 216 pet, and I don't think I'm going to do it. And then as far as my healing kit, I am at 2.5. So if I would ever get to 3, I don't think I would unlock it. I'd much rather trade it in, like bust it up, whatever. I don't even know what's involved in the mushroom mission, to be honest with you. I should probably investigate that before I continue to talk out of my ass. <laughs> because, again, you know, we all know we shouldn't listen to me. At least, not when it's important. I should probably quit shooting. 
and see where I'm running. I'm looking for the red dot. See the red dot? That's what I'm looking for. There he is. I want the clubs. See the club he is holding? Every single one of these guys is holding the damn club. I've killed like 50 of them since I've been here. Guess how many clubs I have? 11. 11 clubs out of 50 kills. Yep. I was really hoping I would get a club drop on like every other. No such luck. Every third? Mm-mm. One for every ten. It's nice. No, not quite. Ten times ten. Anyway, <laughs> I'm getting two. Two for every ten. One for... Wait, what am I getting? Oh. See? Again. How good are we at math? I'm not very good at it at all. And I've killed more than 50 of them. Let me look and see. Because I'm tracking my mission. 82. 11 out of 82. That's not bad. One for every... Eight? Is that almost? One for every seven? No. Yeah. Seventy-seven? Yeah. Anyway. It doesn't matter. The point is that I need like 50 clubs. So I can make like three swords. And then when I'm done collecting clubs, I have to go find some crystals. There's a few crystals and my family's fighting. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. They love each other. And they're talking about whipping up dessert, and I don't, I'm trying not to eat sweets, so I don't ever whip up dessert. They just, when they look at me and go, do you want to whip up dessert? I go, does my ass want dessert? No. No, it does not. <laughs> yes. How about some nice fruit? And then they look at me funny. I don't know. Whatever. If I wouldn't have had my children, I'd still be nice and skinny, maybe. I mean, I'm still not bad. I'm not horrible. But could have been a lot hotter. I mean, well, anyway. Love my children. Okay. Where was I? Killing Cyclops. That's right. What else is exciting? Hmm... I try to help in rookie chat when I can, and I think everyone should, but it's real hard sometimes because some players don't like to look up answers for themselves, and they just want other players to tell them what color socks to wear today. So some days I have to shut it off, and other days I'm trying to be helpful in there. So occasionally you might see my name in the rookie channel. But yeah, if they're asking, like, how do I hold my gun? Next. Where do I buy ammo? Next. I mean, those are such basic things that are covered in the new player launch tutorial. Like, I even think that's covered before they even let you into the new player area, isn't it? I mean, it's... It's like right away. They're like, here's a gun. Shoot it. So if you can't remember how to hold a gun, then you should like go back to new player school. Like baby new player school. That's my advice to you. That's good advice, actually. Because you probably should know how to hold a gun. And then one day there was a guy who was like, can I karate chop someone? And people were like, well, not with your hand unless you're wearing a power fist. And they're like, what's a power fist? I'm sure they could hear my eyes rolling from wherever they were. I mean, a lot of people don't know what a power fist is. Here, let me stop shooting so I don't annoy those of you that don't realize that it's not a waste of ammo when you're not in a PvP area. But here, here's a power fist. But this is the old, old once upon a time out of the TT machine power fist that I can't even get rid of anymore. But anyway, this is what they look like 
and when you equip it it goes on your hand like a glove and then you can punch things and that is your weapon is your punching with this bionic 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 bananic bionic hand and you can punch things that's what that's all about and it gives you brawler which you can get from other things also um, I don't know I wish I could sell this thing though I never ever 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 use it maybe someday when I'm bored then I'll skill my brawler because where am I at for my brawler hmm let's see I'm a 45 Ooh, 45 BLP and laser pistolier. Go me. But, uh, get out of the guns. And here, brawler hit. I'm a 19. Brawler damage, I'm a 23. And it's getting close to skilling, which is exciting. Which means pretty soon I'll start getting a bunch of skill lines that just really don't mean anything except I'm leveling up. But that's not a bad thing. Because someday, when I get real sick of this game, when I'm like 80 years old, then I'm going to sell all my shops and skills. And I'm going to go back and play RuneScape with all the 9-year-olds in the world. I actually like that game. RuneScape. I've been thinking about going back part-time. But... I don't know. I don't know if I'm really going to. I just know that I was a level 82 that had more things unlocked than most of the level 100s. Like, I totally kicked ass in RuneScape. Of course, it was me with all the 9-year-olds, and my son at the time was 9. That's the reason I started playing, so I could monitor his play. And then the next thing you know, he grew out of it, and I kept playing. <laughs> And I had piles of gold, and I had dragon armor, and I had the best mag armor, mage armor, however you say that magician name. Term for an a magi term for a magician, what, whatever it's called. And I could ride the eagles, and I could float on the logs. I could do all kinds of stuff. It was so awesome. But then I did. Then I was like, well. I remember that one game I heard about that one time. I should probably try that because that's like a grown-up RuneScape, right? Ugh. Still wondering if I made the right choice. At least I knew RuneScape cost me $5 a month. With this game, you never know what it's going to cost you. But I digress. <laughs> So in the meantime, the other thing I've been um, doing in the few minutes of computer time I have a day these days is I've been watching shark attack videos. I don't know why. I am afraid of the ocean. I've been to the ocean a few times in my life, and I've gone in up to my ankles except for one time I went snorkeling. and. It was a really bad experience because I ended up floating really far from the boat and then I had to swim back and the whole time I was swimming I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, they're going to eat me. The sharks are going to eat me. I never saw any sharks, but that's besides the point. And when I go to Secret Island or even here on Next Island, they have sharks in the ocean. I don't really like that, so I do not go in the ocean on the game. Yay! A swirly! It's about time! Phew! I was beginning to think they were going to skunk me. <laughs> and, what are we at for time here? We are at, oh, 19 minutes. I'm going to call it because I'm trying to keep it short, which means I'm going to have to go through and trim a little bit of this. No, I'm not. I'm going to trim the end of it. No, I'm not. But I am going to say goodbye now. Bye! Hope you enjoyed Next Island, and uh, maybe later we can hook up. See ya!